Hi guys, welcome back. I filmed this look for you guys and I hope you guys enjoy it because I'm feeling it. If you want to see how I achieve this look, just continue watching. Okay, so I'm starting out with my brows and I'm just doing brush like strokes in the same way that the hairs grow. So I'm going up and then I draw that line underneath. That's the line I draw underneath to get that sharp look, you know? Then I just fill in, fill in the little parts that need some more hair and kind of build that arch a little more. Going over to the other side. Doing the same thing. Building that arch. Yeah. Yeah, right. This one a little more. So we just filling it a little bit more. And yeah, good to go. What is that again, Cheryl? Jeez, I'm loaded, bro. No, no, man. Ciao. All right, so I'm using this fully. Just trying to even out the product some more. Here we go. Here we go. All right, now it's time to use my e.l.f. concealer. I got these concealers from the Beat Place 876. I'll put the info in the description box for you guys. So you can check her out. I love these concealers. They're so creamy. But the thing is, they dry quickly, so you have to be careful. You have to make sure you blend that out before it dries. Because you know when it dries, it's not going to move. So got to work fast. Getting that brow sharp. Yes, girl, that's sharp. I love it. Yeah, yo. Blend, 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 blend. Blend, 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 blend. Blending, blending, blending. Blending that concealer out before it dries. Over to the other high. <laughs> other high. <laughs> Over to the other other eye eyebrow I should say get in that sharp 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 here we go here we go the blending 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 yes get it girl get it get it get it mm-hmm mm-hmm Yes, I like it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Come out, yes. So now I'm going to use my Zulu palette. This is one of my favorite palettes because I love that orangish brownish, brownish transition color. I use it on almost all my looks. So I'm just building that up until I get to the desired color. Blend, 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 blend. Don't want any harsh lines. Is that Savannah nice on the background? Guys, trust me, this day I was trying to film and Savannah was there and Kells was there. Like a whole lot of people were in the studio, so it was just hard. All right, this is my Jam Rock Universal Palette and it's from Plain and Makeup by Yolanda. Her products are really nice. This palette is so pigmented. And right now I'm using a purple. And then I'm going to darken it a little bit with some black. So I'm just putting that into the crease. Blending, blending, blending until it's um, darking up. Or as dark as I wanted it. So, yeah. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Hey, hey. Hey, this voiceover thing is actually fun. <laughs> it's my first time doing it. I'm loving it because I'm really just sitting here and 
you know the drill. All right, so I'm gonna cut my crease with my e.l.f. concealer as well. This is a lighter shade than the one I used for my brows. Yep, cutting that crease, and y'all know cut crease takes work and time because you're trying to be precise. You want to get a perfect shape and you want it to be sharp. So, I'm literally hold my breath when I try to cut the crease. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Mm-hmm. 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 Still a try and eat it up. Mm-hmm. Yep. 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 Mm-hmm. 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 All right, so I'm just gonna blend that out because before you put your shadow, you don't want the concealer to be too wet. You want it to be partially dry before you add your shadow and the shadow will sit well. I'm going back to my Zulu and I'm gonna go in with that pink color. Ooh, nice. And I'm just gonna build that up. Okay, now I'm going to go in with my Glitter Addict Chemistry Pigment. This is my favorite pigment, guys. I just love it. It's so beautiful. I use this pigment on a lot of my brides because it's so subtle, but it gets the job done. So pretty. All right, so now I'm going in with my, this is my Music Flower Black liner. It's my black pomade. So I'm just doing a small wing liner with that. Then I'm going to add my lashes. And these lashes are from Beauty Efficient JA. Did my other eye and then I'm back to prime. And that's the milk primer, as you guys could see. Now I'm gonna mix my Juvia's Place foundation with my Fit Me in 340. And I'm gonna get that foundation going. Blending, 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 blending. Blender, 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 blender. Mm -mm -mm -mm. You almost feel like I could just sit here and sing for you guys. <laughs> Yo, I'm liking this voiceover thing. All right, so I'm just spreading that foundation even over the skin, making sure it's blended properly. Mm-hmm. Now it's time for concealer, and I'm using the same concealer that I use on my brows to conceal under my eyes. Dancing, dancing. Mm -hmm. There was a whole lot of chat to that music that day. <laughs> Hence, we have to do a voiceover. No, because I could not film in peace. Savannah was running all over the place. Trust me. All right, so I'm just blending out that concealer. Blending, 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 dancing, dancing, dancing. All right, now to contour. That's my Black Radiance Contour Palette, medium to dark. And obviously, that's the one I always use the color, the darkest one, because it's almost done. Oh, I think I need to get a new one now. All right, so I'm just going to place that, and then I'm going to blend it out. Savannah again in the back, playing. <laughs> and guys, don't watch the messy hair. I actually did a video on how I achieved this bun. So just check out my channel. You'll see that video.
blending 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 now to set my highlights with my sasha buttercup powder this is my go-to um setting powder i like it because i have a yellow undertone so it suits me it's really yellow love it love it love it So I'm blending the setting powder on all of my face because I don't use a overall pressed powder. I just use the setting powder and a contour powder on my face. Sometimes depending on the coverage that I want, if I feel like after the makeup I need, to, I need a little bit more coverage, I may use the MAC powder to just give me a nicer finish. All right, now I'm going to go in with my NYX Jumbo White Pencil to line my waterline. And then I'm going to go into my Lingerie Palette. And I also got this from the Beat Place 876. I'll put the info in the description box below. I'm going under my eyes with a purple. And then I'm gonna go back into my Zulu palette and add a little bit more of that orange transition color underneath as well. Now I'm taking my Milani Earth Glow 05 press powder and I use this to contour sometimes. This powder may be a little bit red, so you guys have to be careful when you use it. Um, this is my LA Color Mineral Blush, and I love blush, guys. I can't do my face and not to wear blush. I just think it gives the face, you know, that cute little lift. Mm-hmm blending out the rest of that setting powder now lining my lips with a regular brown pencil I'm not a lipstick type of girl so like almost all the time unless it's red lipstick and I only wear red lipstick when I'm going out with my partner most times if we're doing night dates I'm a lip gloss girl, so it's always lip gloss for me. Setting, setting, setting with my setting spray. And this is a Slay All Day setting spray. Yes. That's the fan, guys. That's the fan. Mm -hmm. We blend that out again and just push that setting spray into the skin. Now I'm going to go in with my clean color mascara and I love this mascara. Guys, it's actually a drugstore mascara. It's pretty affordable. I actually got it from my mom. She got it from a wholesale. So you guys can check out um, that mascara. It's pretty good. Adding my lip gloss now from e.l.f. It's a lip plumper. And then I'm gonna add a little more shine, sheen with the So Juicy Clear Glass. Adding my highlights now from the Plain In Makeup by Yolanda Collection and I love her products, they're so pigmented. Got the highlight, ooh! <laughs> yes, I don't like my highlights very high so I usually put it on and then I blend it right back out. <laughs> But this highlight is life. It's like my go-to highlight now. I really love it. Feeling it. Yes. So this is the finished look, guys. I hope you guys loved it. 
this was just a picture i mean it was a video i saw on instagram and i said no man i want to recreate this look so i tried it and i love it i'm feeling it i hope you guys loved it remember to like share subscribe guys tell me what you think in the comments below bye my butterflies i love you see you in the next one hi butterflies welcome back to my channel <coughs>